There have been 12 reported American tourist deaths in the Dominican Republic since June 2018. 12. There have also been a steady stream of travelers claiming sudden illnesses while vacationing there. Now, this has some believing counterfeit alcohol may be to blame. Now, tragically, Don's husband, David, was one of those 12 deaths. Take a look. Dawn McCoy and her 45-year-old husband, David, were spending a dream vacation in the Dominican Republic when he suddenly became ill and died. Dawn McCoy and her husband, David Harris, had gone to the Dominican Republic to celebrate their anniversary. But this time, after heading back to his room, the 45-year-old Harris complained he felt terrible. He woke up in deep trouble. It happened last July, but she's coming forward now after hearing about the deaths of three American tourists within five days. Her husband's death was ruled a heart attack by authorities in the Dominican Republic, but his wife told Inside Edition she doesn't believe it. Despite her suspicion, McCoy never had a second autopsy on her husband in the U.S., and she had his body cremated. Now she thinks that was a big mistake. Now, despite none of the dozen deaths or reported sicknesses having been ruled suspicious or due to tainted alcohol, Don claims her husband, David, in fact, was murdered. In spite of what the coroner's report said, I don't believe my husband died of natural causes. He was murdered. On our ninth day, David had indicated that he wasn't feeling well. He went to the room and slept until 10 o'clock. I woke him up, he had a very strange smell. It was very pungent. I asked him to take a shower and to brush his teeth, and even after he did that, the smell was still there. I woke up about 5.20 to David trying to get out of bed. He was unable to talk. His skin was a pale yellowish color, and he was foaming at the mouth. I was terrified. I dialed the hotel operator immediately, begging for somebody to please come. And my 12-year-old son tried to perform CPR on David because it was taking so long for the doctor to come. My son was telling me, mommy, it's not working, it's not working. We were like, David, hang on, somebody's coming, somebody's coming, please just hang on. It took the doctor approximately 22 minutes to get to our room and they had used a defibrillator on David. He was not moving. We arrived at the hospital approximately one and a half hours after my initial call. The funeral director told me that David had passed. I was totally in shock. When I got the autopsy report, it had indicated that David had died of a heart attack. My husband was 45 years old and he was very healthy. David had no history of heart problems at all. I was very suspicious that they're trying to hide something. I'm going to get to the bottom of it and I will find out the truth. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. Thank you. I, I just, I can't imagine being on vacation and... Coming home a widow. Yeah. You do not believe that your husband died of natural causes. I don't. Tell me what you do think happened. Well, I believe that somebody murdered him, whether it was intentional or unintentional. But you do know that 45-year-old seemingly healthy men, in fact, do fall over and die. I'm not saying that's what happened with your husband, but we're going to put all of the possibilities on the table. That does happen. Most of the people that are dying all have one common denominator, and that's pulmonary edema. Uh, joining us now is Dr. Joel Kahn. Now, Dr. Kahn serves as the clinical professor of cardiology at the Wayne State University School of Medicine, and he is the founder of the Kahn Center for Cardiac Longevity. So, Dr. Kahn, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Um, <laughs> walk us through what what's here on the autopsy report and what you conclude from looking at this. Uh, David had an enlarged heart. Now we do know he was on blood pressure medicine, but more significantly, one of the three major heart arteries to his muscle of his heart was said to be obstructed, the right coronary artery, having caused a heart attack on the bottom of the heart and leading to damage. And in fact, that kind of heart attack on the bottom of the heart can mimic a whole lot of other conditions that don't present rather classically with the crushing elephant on the chest. In fact, so much of what it is reported in the hours before he died do match very closely 